good evening. And good night. I can't even say good evening to this show. Good evening when and good night. We are Jobs disturbed up. already. Hey, listen. Bye. Must Here, listen. At least we're not being lulled into a false sense of security where the night starts really positively, <laughs> then these idiots come out and ruin it. We're just going to start it low and let it stay there. We're, gonna, we're not going to get lulled in. We saw a great British bar. What an event. Thank you. I appreciate that you got me the ticket. It was a really front row of seat that you'd got me. I had to get you in the seat, but we saw Mustafa Khan retain that UKW Championship in dramatic, shocked circumstances. I don't think I don't think I can be shocked it. anymore. I don't think I can be shocked anymore. Yeah, I mean, if you've not seen it, I'm really loath to tell you what happened because. You need to see the event, like what a ridiculous ending it was, but for an actual painted Henry Winter spoiler alert, we saw Joe Cedric tip his dad out of the ring, thinking this is his time, no, this is Joe's time, shot, I'm Bud downstairs, Bud three Bud Winters in, thinking I can hear the crowd <laughs> screaming Joe, 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 and we're, we're all downstairs desperate, we're running upstairs trying to get a seat, trying to see what we can see, is young Joe Cedric going to win it? No, Joe Cedric shook the hand of this bald idiot and... The rest is history. He's still a UKW champion. What a nightmare. See what he has to say. Can't work him out. I wonder if he needs Joe to come and do that for him yeah. as well. Well, we want to know what he's using Joe for. He needs to realise what he's... What Mustafa... Ah, oh, does it? A hug fest, and he jumped well, himself you, over. You, the newest member of Persian Empire, Joe Segre. No, no, Joe. Joe, no. Oh my God. Well, there's the answers that we asked for. Oh, there he is. Oh, smirk on that face. Thinking he can do it. How dare he even try? Huge biggest opportunity of his career so far and he just threw it away. Why? Why Joe? He's gonna just use you. Oh, there it is again, that horrible handshake and hug. We don't like to see. Yeah, deserves that title now. Silver Spoon. I want to start by congratulating Mustafa Khan on retaining the UK Wrestling Championship this past Saturday at the Great Bridge Bar. Oh, oh why? Oh, no. Now, I want to thank you, Mustafa Khan, 
Allow me to join the elite group in UK wrestling. Well, John, you know what? Clearly, you're not as good as your father. No. You better look in that image as well. But I'll tell you what, you've got one more initiation to do. Oh, he's not even in the, the Empire yet. Today. So, Joe, I want you to face Cliff Harrison. Come on, Cliff. Oh, so, bring him out, sir. Can you go get Cliff Harrison and bring his slurry ass to the ring? And my girl said to be able to kick his butt. Oh, we did see it is 1 1 between Joe Sedgwick and Cliff Harrison in the beginning of the Best of Eleven series that we did. <laughs> the problem is, at a minute, we do only see Joe Sedgwick and Mustafa Khan. There's no one else from the Division Empire here. I hope Joe falls off the cliffside. <laughs> That's what I want to happen. Screw it. Let's just say what we think. Spoiled brat. Here's a wrinkle for you, though. Clearly, Joe Sedgwick joins the Persian Empire and goes top of the pecking order. He's Mustafa Khan's favourite new toy. How's Funky Dunky, the wolf boy, and Stinky is feel about that? Say, is he a replacement for one of them? Has one of them let Mustafa Khan down? Well, speaking of the idiot brigade, <laughs> apparently you say the name and out the cup. <laughs> Why'd you let me say it, Sid? You said it, not Why'd me. you let me say it, Sid? <laughs> I try and ignore that they're all going to come out because it happens weekend. Oh, here they are, the yeah. parade of morons. Yeah, but are they coming because they're scared that Joe Sedgwick's going to take the place? Well, another Friday night showdown, no Duncan. Has he been replaced? Is Esmo staff are not happy with Duncan's performance? Is it now in Big Joe? The downfall they have, they have the men's and women's championships raped over their shoulders. It's Persian Empire. Shelby, I know Mustafa Khan wasn't very nice to you. Here's a Friday. Thank you. No, Cliff needs to be careful here. Cliff's a, he's an odd cat, isn't he? <laughs> It's all eight saying he's been nice. He needs to watch around the ring. Oh, not the Joe Sedgwick we used to hear. Oh no. He's only been with him less than a week here and he's already turning into the Persian Empire. Yeah, it's obviously a quick acting poison. Not even, not even able to get out of the gates. He's just, just gone straight out, blindside shot him, and we're just seeing him dominate at the minute, choking the life out of Cliff here. This crowd also letting Joe know that they believe he's a traitor, and I don't disagree. He's got to remember what he threw away. If you haven't seen it, you need to watch the replay because the reaction Joe Sedgwick gets when it is him against Mustafa Khan. The arena lights See, up. Why, it. why are you telling me? I've just said to you, I was downstairs drinking a couple of Bud Winters. I thought the floor was going to come in as people were stamping and screaming, Joe. It was I came running up. Being sat here, and he threw it away for what? To be, the, be a pawn in Still rehabilitating from an injury. I came running upstairs. Only that. to see him bin out his dad, his own dad, and then join this idiot. We've already seen Leonie Rose now get. Look how happy he is with his stupid self. I hope daddy comes and puts him over his knee because the kid needs a spanking. Is it, look, it's what is Jonathan Sedgwick going to be thinking? His own son has joined this Persian Empire that they've been trying to get him to join, and his son has accepted it, whereas he rejected it. Bad enough that Mustafa Khan and this Virgin Empire are trying to take over his company. They've taken his championship belts two at a time, and now they're trying to take family from him. God, Cliff! <laughs> Kick him again, Cliff, he said with full impartiality. <laughs> oh, look at 
at that. Getting involved again, that's twice now. This time dragging him down. Come on, Ray. He's even learnt the dirty tricks that the Persian Empire use already. Look at Mustafa from the side, just smirking and smiling. You got Yarn Hunt just nodding his head in appreciation. This is just distressing. Oh, what a miraculous recovery young Joe Sedgwick's made. We called these two the future of UKW. Now we see one future of UKW and one that is traded us. We could really do with Mustafa Khan moving the shine off his head and his lights is distracting us from the in-ring. Just, just total new moves set, I've got to say, by Joe Sedgwick here. Well, that's, that's normally a fisherman suplex. Now it's just standard suplex. It's like he's it's very much gone from trying to win a match. The yeah. fisherman suplex. He keeps the hook in. Bridges looking for a pin to a normal straight back suplex, looking just to hurt his opponent. There's a very different, different outcome. There's a different method. He's a disgrace, and I don't like him anymore. If he hasn't seen. JPR did it once to me. The disrespect when he left me at Coventry to join that collective. It took me weeks to get out of that. This is going to take years for me to get out of that. So for the torture, right? Huge German suplex. Holding on? Come on, Cliff, don't get distracted, don't, don't you need to stay on top. Cliff, watch all four corners of this ring, Cliff. Oh, three times Referee, you saw that quite clearly as well that time. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh. They're not even hiding it. Ring the bell, that was a DQ. The ref is the official here, not me. He said, as assistant general manager hey. of Friday Night Showdown, I'm telling you, general manager of Friday Night Showdown, ring that bell. And then go ring their bell. <laughs> Take the wall hammer. Well, if you missed it, I did get to one drop. Yo, and hung to the floor in that bash. That was my Miss highlight. Miss it, Sid. <laughs> I was downstairs. I made sure I got one Beers of them at least. The <laughs> but then I let passion get too much and let my staff able to throw me out. I have to say, you're looking good despite eating bags of cheese. <laughs> oh, come on, ref. This is enough now. You're on hunt now. Go on, Cliff. Mm. Is this it? What was it? No hook of the leg. That could have been the difference. But I think I think it's all these beat downs they took. You just had to fight your and hunt off to get just back in the ring there. You're just baiting him in there. The problem is, all the plaudits we've been giving Joe Cedric, how talented yeah. he is, it's now all being used for evil. Oh my god! A cootie Just a huge... Huge double stop at the top. He was going up and doing his old hard target elbow there. He goes up and just does him. Persian Empire is not about hard. It's the easy target. It's every, every time. That's what we're calling it, whether he wants it or not. That was the easy target. Oh, Joe, why? That is not you, Joe. Well, Stinky and Wolf Boy applaud him, but... Joe Sedgwick not lost a match as Persian Empire and like them too. Hey, go. This but. is what the Persian Empire is about. So. I can't listen to him talking more. I 
No, he's, he's not. He just said he's the general manager of Genesis. Wait, no, wait, no. Wait. no. 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 Why must I? No. Not. No way. No. Wow. What? For what? Cheating his way to beating Cliff there. Oh, it's time. Oh. Get ready to go across the knee, young man. Someone's bum's getting smacked by Daddy. Yeah. John Earthen. Sorry, we're very good. Yo, what are you doing? Oh. oh no! No! What happened to the British back? It was every man for himself. It is what it is. But this, whatever it is, disgusting. Even that, it's not like the kid doesn't Girl, deserve it. You of all people know but not like that. Like like we must have a car for the rest of the empire. So you know they're only using it. I hope you realise that before it's too late. Strong words there from the you, Mustafa, you may be the general manager of Genesis Wrestling, but you need to remember that the decisions go through myself and the rest of the booking committee. That's me. As assistant general manager. So we have decided that that Genesis Championship will be on the line at Showcase of Champions. <laughs> Against who? I'm the manager! He's the Joe, you will defend that title. Against Cliff Harrison. Yes, there it is! Match! Oh. The best of 11 continues. You'll be defending against Cliff Harrison in a Lumberjack match. Oh. Suck it! There they go! They didn't realise this tonight! And speaking of showcasing champions, Mustafa, I suggest you take a look at this. There's more, Sid, there's more! What's up, guys? It's the UK wrestling television champion here, Kane Taylor. And I've got some special news Goodbye. I'd like to share with you all today. Now, as many of you know, I've held this championship for a long time. I won this championship back when I was just 15 years old. And here I am, aged 18, with a record-breaking title reign, which I'm very proud of. But when I came back to UK Wrestling, I had one main goal in mind. One big goal which I wanted to achieve, and that was to become the youngest ever UK Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. Now sadly time is running out for that goal. The clock is ticking, time waits for no man. So I've made a move. I've had a word with the general manager, Sid Phoenix, and we've made a deal that if I vacate the UK Wrestling Television Championship, I will automatically be installed as the number one contender for the UK Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Big things! There you go! I bought the matches, not you guys. As Assistant General Manager of Friday Night Showdown, I approve this message. During my story reign, I'd like to wish the next UK Wrestling Television Champion the best of luck, because you've got some big boots to fill. Now moving forwards, I have a message from Mustafa Khan, the UK Wrestling Heavyweight Champion. What's up, champ? Soon you're going to realise why Kane is my name, Pain is my game, and all my opponents fall down the same. Siddy <laughs> P, that deserves a big best friend high five. Yes. Oh, no, let's 
Let's steal your son, John. That's what we're going to do. John, like the ultimate puppet master, moving things around in your stupid faces. Brush your teeth if you're going to talk to me. See, this is phenomenal. I thought this was going to be a downer. I thought it was going to be a downer. First of all, we continue the best of 11 between Joe and Cliff. And now on to our Friday Night Showdown General Manager, CDP Phoenix! So there you have it. The television title is now vacant. So to kick things off, we're going to have a TV tournament. So the final will be held at the Showcase of Champions to announce our new television champion. So let's kick it off tonight with round one of our tournament. Wait, Mustafa Khan just gave his best friend the Genesis title. Could you not have just given me the TV title as your best friend? Could that not have been? Where's our nepotism? Hey, everyone is allowed. It's a vacant Not championship. The creep, so the whole roster is allowed to go Not out. This creepy thing. I can hear it. This <laughs> is oh no. Just remember it's Ian Creed. Creed. Creed with Creed. Him. Oh, it's Doug Jimmy. Oh. oh. <laughs> we need sanitizer. I feel so sorry for got him. Don't move it, can't see you. <laughs> That's not what we're going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Freeze action. If you don't move, it can't see you. I'm not going to move now. I'm moving now. I'm not going to lie. I think that's right. <laughs> he, hasn't, he hasn't responded to it. Oh, duck. <laughs> that's why we had this reinstalled. <laughs> so that creepy couldn't see us hiding behind it. questions that need to be answered if only there was a place he could get answers. If he's not a creep, why does he keep writing creep on his chest? And crossing it out. Why is he, he walking with an interesting persona? Why has he got a bag that's stained red underneath it? Here's a question. <laughs> Here's a question for you. If you're not a creep, stop being creepy. <laughs> Dan Adams and his exquisite yeah, yeah. Martin Burt. He loves a salute as much as us, did <laughs> he If you've ever been in charge of a vessel the size that Captain Dan Adams has, you deserve the respect of the UKW crowd and that's where he's game. Man of the people. I heard Captain Dan Adams once sailed a boat on land. <laughs> That's how impressive a captain he is. Oh, we're feeling it from the crowd tonight. They're in, they're in sync with us. It's hard not to love that, Captain <laughs> Dan Adams. It's not very catchy, but it seems to have caught on. <laughs> this, 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 I think the captain might be stumped by this one. Ian Creed just sits. He has sailed the seven seas and come across nothing as weird as Ian Creed. 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 <laughs> oh, look at this. He's like, what am I facing? I just don't like it, Sid. I wish it wasn't happening. Hey, they're all entitled to a chance at this television title. Doesn't mean we have to enjoy it. You don't have to enjoy it, but hey, we could be enjoying it because you never know the captain could become victorious here and move on. Listen, I'm hey. already I'm already going out on a limb. Captain's gonna sail through this tournament. <laughs> yes! Oh no. <laughs> Boom! A couple of close lines from El Capitan. Captain I anyway. Right in his little creep. Huge body slam into the corner. Oh, nice cover. Only one. Look at that. 
Dean Creed making sure he gets that right. Ref, oh, grated. I'd be, you'd be worried about hitting creepy and creep. What if he likes it? Well, that's the thing. We saw we saw the Yorkshireman, I think it was, give him his own earwax, and he liked it. He wanted more. And everyone else is like, no, and he's like, more, give me more sex. How do you face someone like Ian Creed here? I just don't like him. <laughs> Does he like pain and torture? Does he? Is, it, is he going to feed off it? He's like a modern-day Fagin. Look at him. <laughs> I can imagine him singing, you've got to pick an ear or two. <laughs> he's just a weird guy. Come on, Captain. No, quick roll! Just a tumble out there. Just a knee to the midsection oh. ends that one. I think this crowd with us is very much on the side of the captain. And Ian Creed does all these dirty tricks. As, and I don't think it's to hurt someone. I don't think it's to win. I think it's because he likes it. Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go. I agree 100% with you there. I think it's, he finds it fun and, and pleasurable to do that to someone. And what's he got in mind here? Oh, man. Wow, what a huge, oh. huge clothesline. Following him into those ropes and catching him at his oh, momentum. Man. He just cut the ring off to catch him. Wow. <laughs> Creepy but effective. <laughs> the captain has no idea where he is. He should not be in charge of a boat right now. Under the influence of a beatdown. <laughs> if he was French, he'd be Le Captain. <laughs> Educational and entertaining, said. <laughs> just Ian, Ian Creed here just dominating with this unorthodox beat down, and then we see some solid wrestling. It's like you don't know what to expect from Ian Creed. Yeah, because I don't think he knows what he's. <laughs> What to expect from Ian Creed. I think Creep knows what he's going to do next. <laughs> we talk about people being unpredictable, but like... But there, there we have it. Look at it. It's from wrestling into just slamming his head through a mat. He just does whatever he's going to do. I don't think there's any... He's unscoutable. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, not this. No. Not this. That, oh. oh, thank God they're looking away from us, Sid. Don't look at the monitors. <laughs> oh. Do not. Do not in your mouth. Yeah. Not in your mouth. Go do creep. Go do creep. Oh, oh shit. Oh. Yeah. We know he enjoys earwax now. Oh. We've seen him taste many. We've still got this hand sanitizer. I'm going to rub some of my eyeballs. <laughs> but has he waited too long? Has the captain been able to get his breath here? Well, after, every, after I have a big meal, I need a nap. And maybe the creeps should fall up now. Chuck into the mouth there. Crowd here trying to will on. Dan Adams, the captain. Has he done it? Both men not giving an inch here, desperate to progress to the next round of this TV Championship Tournament. Again, is he giving him too much? No, straight back on him. That's all we like. Oh. He was trying for his acid knee, as he tells me to call it. What? But it's because he didn't what? hit the acid knee. Oh, he did that time. What's the he called? Acid knee. Acid knee. Acid 
Sid. Yeah. Sid. No, it has nothing to do with me. That is what I've asked him. That is the only conversation I've ever asked him. Sid. What is he getting at the end when I've seen that running? It's like, Sid. I'd, I'd, I'd say let's get some answers from him now if we want to sit and win it, but I don't want to be that close. To this guy. <laughs> I'm not being wrong. When I got that answer off him for that move, I was scared. It was, like, away. It was like, yeah, what, what, what's that one that you're hitting? Is it, uh, do, you, do you call it? And he went, yeah, and I was like, oh, see you later, mate. Yeah, I'm off now. I'll write him a letter. I don't, I don't, I'm not, <laughs> I'll address it to the dump. I don't know where he is, where he's coming from. Over in the digital era, we could always get him on a, on a format where he's not sat you near think, us. You think that creep's going to work out <laughs> FaceTime, bro? Come on, grow up. But there we have it, though. As much as he's on orthodox and that, he's made it to the next round of the tournament. Ian Creed has progressed. captain. We have our first wrestler through in the tournament in Ian Creed. Hard luck to Captain Downs. In the next one, we have our first one coming out, Jacob Reed. We've seen him a few weeks now. Running. We've seen him make a tag team dysfunctional. We saw him break up um, York Sedge, really. Yeah. But we, we saw him cost York Sedge that ch- opportunity because they were so dysfunctional. But we do not. He is the man of a half dozen holes. We know he has six we've strong seen, holes. Oh, I'll go as far as strong. But we've seen <laughs> six holes out of him. Three of them were armbar variations, but we have seen <laughs> six holes out of him. Six holes. Oh, oh, when it just Yeah, no, laughed. listen. Listen, I've just had a look down on your sheet because I don't get given one. <laughs> and I've just seen who his opponent is, so he needs to enjoy himself for as long as he can. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. <laughs> Jacob might be a similar height, but he's not as broad, and he's not as freakishly athletic as the man now. Does have to be said though that uh, whilst he took part in the uh, in the bash, Jacob Reed, he didn't have as hard hitting a tag team match as the man now and uh, Billy O'Keefe did. What Billy, O'Keefe, man, Billy O'Keefe and Jepson obviously. Going through the ringer a little bit to defend those tag belts. Making sure their team work together and sure they retain their belts, we're going to say. Listen, the last seven days we've seen Jepson defend the tag titles twice, enter the bash, <laughs> and now a singles match in the TV tournament. Hey. It's got to be, there's got to be wear and tear. It's got to be wear and tear, but he's not throwing away this opportunity. No, he might throw away Jacob Reed. <laughs> He might just run over, dive it in head first and finish. Well, He's no, not. this. No! <laughs> oh my god, I should have, I should have, I should have laughed, I should have laughed. But Jacob Reed really is just hit himself head into the buckle and then big print. And there you have it, Andrew Jackson is through to the next round. We should have just left this music <laughs> playing. Why did we stop it? On the TV championship tournament. I don't know why he's that. upset with Hamza. <laughs> All Hamza did was count to three. Why did he think oh. throwing himself at the oh. Man Mountain was a good idea? We shouldn't be laughing, man. We shouldn't be laughing. It's just unbelievable. He's like, bring the bell, I'm ready. I'm ready. Charges in. Hits his own head. Gets rolled up. One, two, three. He's out of here. Andrew Jameson progresses. Big bird. <laughs> we said he might be fatigued. Wow. He might be worn. He just won his match in less than 10 yeah. seconds. Wear and tear. <laughs> Wear and tear. So he's giving himself an easy night. <laughs> Well, now I wouldn't want to be whoever has to draw him in the next round because Jepson's fresh. <laughs> Your next match is a singles match set for one fall, making his way to the ring first, representing the Persian Empire, Johan Ruan. Oh, we saw him earlier walking at the, at the coronation of Jose joining that Persian Empire and becoming the new Genesis champion due to the general manager being with Stafford Khan. 
and that disgraceful victory over Clay using all members. Oh, and there he is wearing that belt like he's owned it. Look at him. Look at him. There's Leone wearing hers, blindsiding Alfie to win that belt. There's Joe Cedric being gifted the championship on, a, on the, the Persian Empire helmet. And then there's Mustafa Khan using anyone that'll help him to keep hold of that championship. Them titles on this Persian Empire do not deserve to be behind that on that voice. It is not there. Someone needs to find out. We are doing our best. Not one of them fairly won. No, no. And not one of them fairly defended. <laughs> we can say that, I can get angry, but they hold three of our belts now. They have three. Four now. needs an easy win to impress daddy doesn't he? Don't see how much they all get involved. We've seen them week in, week out. Okay. Well even Special Mercy is realising he can't even go that way. Joe Cedric to the right. We only rolls to the left with Mustafa Khan. Just where can you go? I never thought I'd say that because I don't like this kid either. What an opportunity for him though, that's how he has to look at this. After the pre-show match against El Capitan last week, he's got an opportunity on Friday Night Showdown now. Oh, he needs to take his eyes off these, like, he needs to remember the residents in the ring. These guys mean nothing. Oh no. Not normally a fan favourite Sebastian Mercer, but tonight he may get away. Just a with knee it. to the head there. Looked like he was trying to set something up, but Wolf Boy just knee to the head. Oh my god. Such a knee strike to the chest. I don't know if he took his knee out on his chest then. It was a war strike, I know that. Oh, oh. Quick roll up, roll up, are we gonna see it again? Oh. Well, as we said, Mercer coming through the Genesis program. Obviously, scouted Andrew Jepson earlier. He's just tagging that oh, knee what's he again. Doing? But you imagine if Johan Hunter had been pinned there early on. Well, Sorry. Mercer using the momentum there to roll through that cover attempt. Sure, up, Leone. Surely the Persian Empire is going to be scared. Oh. About every time they lose a match here, it's going to be motivation. What's, wait, sure, said. What's, what's he got on there? It looked like he had him in some sort of headlock. Was it almost a, a chokehold? I think it was ch like a sort of chokehold to then sweep the leg again. He's definitely working that knee of him. It's hard to keep track because I'm trying to try to keep an eye on these at ringside, try to keep an eye on what's going on in the ring. Minute. Mercer's getting the better of Johan Hunt, shall we say. Yeah, un untidy from Mercer as you would expect, but effective, he's, he's showing some grit. So, well, so far, let's just say, none of the Persian Empire has got involved here. It has been a clean match. Oh, and what's he looking for here, Mercer? Into the, the cover. The end here. What a scalp that would have to be. You would have to. With the run that Wolfie's won, regardless of how, what a scalp that would have been. I, I was going to say getting a victory over Yarn Hunt is no mean feat. No, well, not with these idiots. <laughs> we know he likes to say that is what I do. <laughs> no. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Both feet to the back of Mercer. Oh no. No ref, don't be fooled by this. Is this the first time I'm going to see it? Oh Joe, why? No Joe, I don't want to see it. Oh Mustafa applauding him. You just laid oh. yourself down, kids. Joe, why Joe? 
Just letting yourself down, kid. Just laughing and just loving it. This isn't what we're here. Oh, there we have it. First interference from Persian Empire. Changing the match in their favour every time. Oh, and again. He's, he's trying to break his knee and arm here. We see him target that knee and now it's arm work over. And it's three in a row. Oh. A shoulder and elbow joint. Yes, so that obviously has protection already on that elbow. And we can see that Johan Hunt is targeting it here. He knows he has that ripcord discus lariat that Mercer likes to end the match with, so he's taking it away from him. Just a big suplex, and Mercer needs to be careful here, he's near that apron again. Crowd <laughs> making a phenomenal <laughs> point in front of he's us. He's the only man at the ringside with no belt round his waist. I mean, Duncan obviously also no belts, but there isn't one that goes round him, so... <laughs> Getting back to that knee. That knee, if Mercer can't stand it, it just feeds into the phantom well, yeah, he, stomp. He wants to, I was going to say, he needs to be careful getting on the knees because he's looking for that big wolfy stomp. <laughs> What's Calm doing here? Could be it. Mercer showing some heart, but I'm not sure how smart it is. He's obviously trying to keep it here tonight, but is he going to be available? It's a, it's, a, it's a three slash four on one here. Depends if the staff is going to get his hands dirty tonight or not. On the minute, it looks like he isn't. It's worth mentioning again, this not one of the uh, TV tournament this matches. Is not, no, this is just your standard showdown match. Oh, 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 what's Mercer looking for here? He's got him up. Oh, 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 come on, referee. Very clearly at the eyes and face. Oh, there it is. Who named it? Wolf Blade. He loves it. Into the Wolf Blade. Into the cover. Hooks the leg. No, oh, still in it here, Sebastian. I think his eyes may be raked. Again, he just, I know we, we like to point out covers. He, he, he did a good job. He got his body weight across and covered the leg. The problem is, for once, not being disrespectful. Johan Hunt, not a huge man for so the full body press, not enough to keep the shoulders down. Oh. Full pace into that. Snapmare takedown, and what's he looking no for here? Oh, wow. I noticed new moves here from Johan Hunt. Since Joe, he's got, he's since, keep since his, Joe Cedric has keep his game. Oh, Wolf 1 9. Oh. There it is. But new moves um, are being used since Joe Cedric well, it's has like we joined. Said, we said and earlier. All training. No, we said earlier, didn't we? That the rest of them need to up the game. Clearly, Joe's the current favourite toy of Musafa Khan. Could be it. No! Mercer again. <laughs> that a heart to have been. What heart to kick out of there. Hunter must have felt the fibres of the mat there as his hand got that close. <laughs> Oh, Mercer. Mercer! Firing out, what's he got here? I'm trying to get a choke on, is he? He's very close to these ropes. I'm going to say he's not in smart ring position in here. Oh, and Joe oh, Cedric just, just pushing the ropes towards oh. Johan Hunt to grab him. Ref there giving Joe Cedric a warning. More is it. Oh, Sebastian Mercer, don't get distracted by him. Stay on yeah, a little bit, a little bit of inexperience from Sebastian Mercer there, not applying that submission in the centre of the ring, allowing, allowing Johan to get to the ropes. Oh, why? Why would you do that? Why would he what? not? If you got the opportunity, I'd slap that face. Oh, <laughs> really? Hit rotation. Johan Hunt, not a happy choppy. Oh, Mercer, Mercer rolling. Drop kick to the gut, driving all the wind out of Johan Hunt. And what's he thinking here? Sends him off into the corner. Oh, and a big splash. Mercer running bulldog. Is this it? Is he going to miss Oh, the 
Mustafa Khan looks worried. <laughs> if he had any hair, it'd be coming out in his hands and graying rapidly. You imagine if your own home lost tonight, would you look be like... Look at his face! Oh. I hope we've got close-up. <laughs> Cameron, I get a close-up of his face. Look, look, at look he's looking at Johan in disgust and looking at Joe Sedgwick like, is he going to send Joe Sedgwick to finish off Johan Hunt here? Hurry! Spinning discus, Larry! Oh, he's pulling him back up. I was going to say he didn't look like he got all of that. Is he, is he going to go for it a second time? I was going to say... Oh, oh. Wolfie, wise to it. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And oh my God, what's going this? For here. Oh, this is new. This is new. Both arms cranked against each other. The shoulder blades just driven out of the socket. Oh, uh, it looks like he's got one arm free, Mercer. He's reaching for those ropes, and this time the Persian Empire pulling them away. Don't tap, kids. No, hold on, on Mercer, hold, hold on, on kids. No. No winner by submission. Yeah. Oh, it's all smiles now. All smiles now, now the job's done. I was going to say, there was a war in Mustafa Khan, and he hit that spin in this Kislaria. Here comes the vultures. No oh, microphone in hand. What are we gonna hear tonight? Well, I'm all right with that. I'm all right with them coming in. I'd rather listen to them waffle some more nonsense. I thought they were coming in to do what they like to do and put a beating on a victim. Is he dysfunctional? No, he's just applauding with his team. Yeah, getting Crazy some. Crazy now. Getting some feedback from the boss. Well, he's got to be scared. It's, it's, it's like you said, there's only two members now without championships yeah, around yeah, there. Yeah, the rest of them on the deck. Yeah. Now they're classed as lower pecking order in this Persian Empire. Proud really giving it to him with the Johan No belts. Just acting like the old this place, man. This is just... Oh, man. This is just no... You don't get this many clowns at a circus. <laughs> You're destroying me so now, There we have it. I'll tell you what, I'm not happy to see it. I wish she had to say that, not me. I would have gone through that. Be able to get a quicker victory as his tag team partner, Andrew uh, Jepson. I wonder if earlier Jepson in the back with a stopwatch to, to <laughs> see if he can or not. Oh, but Billy, slight limp here. You're not doing too good. Do you need a rub down? Yeah, I do. Oh, Billy here coming out. Not 100% here. You said fatigue and that. Yeah, listen, so, so Saturday, anyone that watched the Bachelor scene, I decided I'd had enough of you and Brett's company. <laughs> and I went to get some drinks with these two after their uh, tag teams win. But yeah, Billy really suffering. I don't know if it's a hip or a knee, but he started limping later on once the adrenaline had wore off. And he's still obviously feeling the effects. Are you think two title defences in, in day after day? And then entering that bash determined to try and win the UKW Championship. Listen, the thing is, and Tommy now, Dillon licking his lips at the potential of a not 100% oh, Billy O'Keefe. Tommy Dillon but loves this draw. Here's the thing, Billy O'Keefe. That's can still got other tools in the tool shed. And it is for a chance at a television championship. Yeah, he's already been Billy too, Bill. He, he will want to have that second belt. 
Wait, that's an interesting wrinkle. What about if second round draw? Oh. Billy O'Keefe, Andrew Jepson. They will be hoping that oh, Billy can progress here on the wild card, Tommy Dillon. He avoids that. I don't think they'll be hoping to avoid that. I think they'll be hoping that was a final. <laughs> they'll shake hands, go to war, and celebrate whoever wins. Hey, I'm thinking that's your team, but if you're on that time, he's got to go through the wild card, Tommy Dillon here, who will not want to throw away an opportunity, having that television championship here in yeah, the UKW. Tom, Tommy Dillon, it's got to be said, long career UKW, achieved a lot of success, but is he going to start getting into his own head that he doesn't seem to quite get the job done in these big events? We know he's a former academy champion. I believe he's a he's been an around the clock champion. Is he one of the many in, in Team ATC with UCDP? I am not sure there's been that many champions. But I've seen him come back. And we've fought. seen him challenge for the heavyweight title. We've seen him challenge for the tag title. Yes. He, he challenged me for the hardcore title. I've seen him go for the uh, now the TV title. I'm sure he's had TV title matches before. Zero reigns in those and so does it start to get into his head the reason he's going to win the big one does that start to does that start to get to you he must be aware of his own record and this isn't me bagging on him <laughs> I'm saying he's, to have got all those opportunities shows, shows where he is but just not quite got over the finishing line yet proud he has split <laughs> Billy needs to watch that back here, trying to do a strength test. Well, like we said, take away the speed of Billy O'Keefe. Kid's still strong. <laughs> a nice classic technical start to this match. Yeah, it's very clear split here. Uh, I'm gonna dueling, see you, yeah. dueling chance, but it is very clear if you listen to the uh, to the deepness of the voices. A lot of the gentlemen in the crowd backing Tommy Dillon. A lot of the ladies in the crowd backing the beautiful Billy O'Keefe. <laughs> it's not difficult to see why this isn't an insult to Tommy Dillon, but Billy O'Keefe's a specimen, isn't he? <laughs> Look at him, front cover of GQ. <laughs> We'll see how he does in this match, but I will claim uh, Billy O'Keefe as a winter prodigy. <laughs> Brought him into the uh, original collective and then into a new dawn. Whenever he's successful, he's a winter prodigy. When he lets me down, he's, uh, he's not. <laughs> That's how that works. Not in a minute. It looks like Wildcat Tommy Dillon's got the upper hand here. Well, speaking of hands, delivering firm right hands in the corner. I know he's a master of them strikes. I will question, though, he's, he's throwing strikes to the midsection, the big clothesline there. He's grounded, Billy, but I'd be working on that bum wheel. I'd be trying to figure out where the, pain where is the pain's here. coming from. Is it a hip? Is it a knee? And I'd be trying to, trying to use that to my advantage. But again, maybe that's the Tommy Dillon, the ultimate Mr. UKW. Obviously not wanting to take advantage. Maybe he's, that's why he's lacking that ruthless streak. Yeah, he wants to win it the clean, the professional way. He wants to win it in his way, not Listen, you can ones. You can win a match the clean way and take advantage. You saw last December, came and Kyle and I won the tag titles, took advantage of Seb's bum knee and put him in an Eba, well within the rules. But <laughs> you're focusing, you're trying to get the win. Maybe that's what he needs to do to finally get over that hoodoo. Just that a big match streak, yes. Big Stop trying to be yeah. everyone's hero and do it for yourself sometimes. This crowd coming <laughs> absolutely unglued. <laughs> Either of these are fan favourites tonight. They're wanting Eva to go through in this TV tournament here. This is unbelievable. <laughs> This is unbelievable reaction. I don't know how these two are concentrated on wrestling. I'd have, I'd have stopped and just been taking this in. I would be listening to this and just pacing around the ring like, keep going. Absolutely no let up from this Batley crowd. Well, yeah, I've seen a technical match tonight. Oh! Oh, did, did 
Dylan able to reverse. Did Tommy Dylan duck? Yeah, he just got under that. Yeah, he just shot him, Lariat. This crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely taking over. <laughs> oh, and there you oh. saw. You saw the leg give out. He saw something give out there. See, again, if I'm Tommy Dillon, I'm, I've, I've realised oh. now it's the right leg. Is he going for that Kiara lock? If he hits that, that's going to put pressure on the target. Is he going to get him over? Is he going to turn him around? Oh, Billy just enough. You know. yeah, how much did he take out? out? Look at him holding the lower back. Is it a, is it a hip abductor? There's something in that lower half of the back slash hips giving him pure pain. Yeah. I'm worrying if it's one of the, if it's down the lower back, if it's the hip. Has he got a trap nerve, a shooter? Oh, oh and this crowd congratulating themselves on a job well done. <laughs> Did that distract the Wildcats? Tommy Dillon here. Did he think the match was uh, just getting into base and took his eye off the game here? The Billy O'Keefe quickly flipping over and rolling up. <laughs> well, look what he took from the look what he took say, from the anarchist. Billy needs to be careful here. These matches are happening every week on Showdown. So is he going to be? Uh, he's, he's got a week to recover here. That respect as, expect, as, as expected from these two. A nice moment between the two of them. Tommy Dillon did himself no injustice there, but Billy O'Keefe, impressive. Impressive again. Still showing us both. They can do the technical masterclass. And then it was just that moment of silence. Dillon making a point as he passed us there, like there's no shame in losing to some of the best, and that's where Billy O'Keefe is. He hasn't got that tag team championship for no reason. He's got a great partnership with his own skills. Good job, kid. Good job, huh? <laughs> there right. you have it. Right. Billy O'Keefe progressing in our TV championship tournament. Going on to the next round. As you say, was it, was it the crowd finally no, stopping no, after six or seven no, solid no, minutes no, of jumping? Now here we have it, the main event of tonight's showdown. Making his way here in first, he's the collective, Kevin Carlyle! Is he? <laughs> he is the collective, she's the fifteen song I've heard him come out to. <laughs> Maybe he's confused Kevin now. <laughs> Maybe you need to have a quiet word with him, man. Bring him. Bring so, him. It's, it's a loud song. word that we need to... Wait, are they Sid's boots? No, I, I, they're not. Are they Sid's boots? No. If anyone's stealing my dad's boots, they are right there on Cayman Carlisle's feet. I do not want them. It's Cayman Carlisle he needs to look at. He is wearing my dad's boots. I'm going to ring Ed. Ed. He is wearing my dad's boots. I'm going to ring Ed. I hope my dad is watching from the back here and seeing I am not after Ed. his boots. It's Ed. Cayman Carlisle. You need to get down here. I think Cayman Carlisle stole your boots. It's not Sid. <laughs> I've left him a voicemail. <laughs> oh, has he borrowed JPR's gloves? I was going to say interesting thing. There is nothing original about this weasel. <laughs> Mad Ed's boots, JPR's gloves. He's got, he's got Mad Ed's boots, JPR's gloves. He's got Michael Douglas's hair. He's got E.T.'s pot belly. He stole the collective nickname because he couldn't think of anything for himself. And then he's got to go up against... Cerebral Steve. <laughs> Steve's gonna kick his chest through the back. Yeah, Steve can hit them strikes off tonight. Cameron Carlisle will not be going far. Both men will want a shot at that television championship. Interesting. Cerebral Steve coming out on his own here. I think there's no, uh, no question who the uh, crowd are in favour of here. <laughs> Let, let's just think. Cayman, how much are we placing the bet? We start the match, he rolls out the ring. How much are we placing it? Cayman Carlisle, 
Start ringing the bell, he'll roll out this ring. Right, There's no you, way he'll face off. I'll give you 30 to 1 on. <laughs> This we're, one. We're gonna start it with some some uh, music still playing. There we have it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's still in. Think you owe me thirty quid? Hang on, hang on. Before it's if they face said, up without him. You said ring the bell him. and he would get straight out. There it is. There he is. I told you he would not stay in this ring. He does it. Every time I've got this guy scouted to a team, if I ever come up against Cayman Carlisle, I'm just going to slide out the ring and wait for him. Well, listen, he's, listen. Like he's coming. You and I both on the road to recovery. <laughs> if you want a shot at Cayman Carlisle, you need to get fit and healthy before I do, because when I get back in that <laughs> ring, I'm going to finish him forever. <laughs> Has he got his dad's driving gloves on? <laughs> He's had enough of this watching Cayman walk around the outside. He's going to take the fight to him. Oh, there he is! <laughs> Carl, I have no idea where he is. We said he's sneaking at that running knee. Cayman is just going to be a lost one. Oh, and again! <laughs> Covering, kid! <laughs> He's going for a quick finish here. Just that kind of spinning <laughs> forearm. Carlisle has no idea where he's. He kicked out on instinct. Like, <laughs> ten years in the ring, that was instinct alone. He, he has no idea where Steve he is. Steve just had him scouted, push kicked everywhere. Oh no! Wow, right on the top of the head. Luckily, he's got that curly mop top. <laughs> Hopefully, it provided some cushioning. There. And there we go. Hate this guy, but we talked about Mercer earlier putting a submission on too close to the ropes. The veteran instincts, Palau's ring position, rolls Steve in before the cover. Yeah, it was somewhat we saw that he wasn't just quick to get that cover, it was I need to push him away so he can't get that roll. Now we're back to the dirty tactics, all 65 pounds of Carlisle's body weight on the throat of cerebral Steve. <laughs> I nearly got confused about him being confused. <laughs> needs to get it. come on him and keeping that ruthlessness streak that he still has on, after that JPR yeah. yeah, match got to get him out of the corner ref <laughs> oh. what a right hand Cameron oh. needs to realise he can work on Steve as much as he wants He's that quick at striking. If he can get one of them strikes off, it could be good night. Yeah, watching watching Steve in a wrestling ring, it's like a boxing <laughs> match yeah. more than anything. One good strike and that's it. It's lights out and away we go. God, he's a weasel. <laughs> I know we're rubbish at being impartial anyway, but I absolutely hate this pillar. More than the Persian Empire? More than, more than oh. anything. At the minute that Persian Empire is... Oh, just, I just love giving them bad news and seeing the faces and the Probably ring. with Carlisle is his memory shorter than himself. He thinks he's done everything himself. He spent ten years at UKW, but twice he's held the top titles when he had winter by his side. And he's had help. Gets what he was surrounded by. He had UK Women's Academy champion as part of the original collective as well. Surrounded Starting by former champions. Before she became a slightly above average ring announcer. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than becoming a slightly above average commentator. Oh, cheap shot from Shelby Sand. There's more cheap shots on the commentary desk than there is in this ring at the minute. <laughs> Trying to do some strikes there, just like Steve. Never mind this woman. Can you believe she said that? We're the best commentary uh, team in UK wrestling. You've got something to prove. If she doesn't believe it, you've got to well, step up your game. She's not the only one. Robbie Rapid or Quincy Quick or whatever he's called, called us out, apparently. Is this someone? <laughs> 
our rival podcaster that I don't yeah. know about. Some, some rip-off podcast. He's, he's like a poor man's Stephen Winter show. Back to the wrestling in the ring. And Weasel... Again with him in the corner. Referee needs to get him out. He's controlling this match as much as we don't want to say it. He's on top of I mean, he's getting a lot of leeway, though. He's, he needs to get him out of the corner. Referee needs to start applying the rules. Oh, he didn't get all of that, but that could have been it, that pump kick. Is he going? Oh my. No. Oh. Oh. Alabama wow. slam from Carlisle. Oh. Yeah. Steve not giving up that opportunity for our TV championship here. Both men wanting to progress in this tournament. Out of the way of the knee. Oh, Steve, that ring, that ring jumping knee there. Yeah, I don't think he got all of it oh. though. It's not my takedown. What's he looking oh, for here? There he is! Oh, is this it? Into the cover. Oh, hook the leg, Steve! Hook the leg! Oh. We did hook the leg Steve. and we saw quite clearly why Carlisle planting the foot and oh. using it to drive up. Oh, if you see this, is it over? No! Carlisle setting up for here. Oh. That Yakuza kick. Oh, he hasn't got the energy to get into the quick cover. Both men down here. This really could be a case of whoever's first to a vertical base wins this one. We Steve have a, a draw against Big Duncan. And the Great British Bash, both enforcers gave it their own. Oh, what? Why? Why ruin someone's opportunity? Why? They need to pay for a ticket. That's what they need to do. These two want an opportunity. They need to pay for a ticket if they're oh, just going to come no. out. Steve, ignore him, Steve. Shall be old, you know. Steve, don't blow your chance here. Steve, no. Steve. No. No, Steve. No, no. Not no, like this, kick out Steve. Of He's not in cohesion with this Persian Empire. Listen, this I was driving above the snake. This is twice they've helped Kim and Carlisle out now. I won't put anything above the snake, to be honest. Little rat. They've just cost Suri Rusty his chance at progressing. In again, the I find it difficult. Obviously, they've come out and they've ruined things again, but. Steve's got to take some of the blame, the inexperience of not staying focused on what was in the ring. We saw earlier Tommy Dillon and Billy O'Keefe, despite the chaos going on around them, stayed focused on what was happening in the ring. And then I say he needed to remember that was his opportunity to progress, to earn the chance to fight for that Listen, the kid's, the kid's young, it was a little bit impetuous, it cost him. I'm sure he's going to put that right. But the Persian Empire yet again getting themselves involved in the Playtime Mafia business. That, that is how we are ending tonight. Friday another night. downer. Showed a downer from See, the Persian song, just Empire. Just to pick it up for Costing the Cerebral Steve here his chance at progress. Don't ignore me. Sing us a song. We need it's to do something to pick up. The, no, we need to, to do something this. to... The people watching this, they rely on us to pick them up on a Friday. No. So we need to we need to finish on a bright note. Sing a song. No. Just I'm, sing I'm, a song I'm or not something. Singing. Oh, you're a letdown. You've ruined this for everyone today. <laughs> Finish, go on. It's been my pleasure. It's been our pleasure. This, this until this. With my co-commentator, with Henry Winter. And. Drive safe, get And on safe. do it. And best friend. And best friend. Good night. <laughs>